Today we continue with part 11 of our um, Hibernate tutorial for Java programmers and today we are going to see how, it, how to solve the problem of infinite recursion uh, in Hibernate mapping using as JSON manage reference and JSON back reference annotation. So in the case of infinite recursion we've explained it when some entity has child entities those child entities has parent entities that has child entities and the loop continues indefinitely. We want the way to break this recursion loop. The way to do it is to use JSON managed reference on the one to many side and JSON back reference on the many to one side. The JSON managed reference is a forward part of the mapping and gets data serialized normally. So we place a JSON managed reference at the one to many side. And so that when the serialization happens, when you get a location, the location gets a list of users and it ends there. It doesn't continue getting additional things. JSON back reference is a backward side of the mapping and does not get serialized. So let's see how it works. So the, we need to add JSON managed reference in the get post methods of the user entity. JSON managed reference happens in the many side, in the one to many side. So let me just close everything. So let's first consider the the, the location and uh, the user and post, right? User and post. So if I go to the post entity, the post entity at this point. So I'm going to go to get users. So post tries to get the user object. And it doesn't have to get, after getting the user object, it actually does not get all the posts under that user. Or maybe it gets the ID of this user instead of getting the entire user object. So uh, let's see. So I'm going to add, uh, I'm going to add, actually, I'm going to add it in get users, not get user. So, so in the post entity, uh, add, add JSON manage reference in the get posts of the user entity. So the user entity, we add JSON managed reference in get posts at this point. So I'm going to say add JSON managed reference at this point. Control Shift O. Yeah. And in the post entity, in the post entity, I'm going to add JSON back reference in get user. So in post entity, in get user. In get user, I'm going to add JSON back reference. So take note that we are adding these annotations in the get uh, method, not in the in the uh, in the fields or in the private variables. The mistake some programmers make <coughs> is to add this annotation at this point. At this point. So if you add it at this point. The problem is not going to be solved. Add it in the get methods, in the getters of this method. Then the step three says add JSON managed reference in the get users of the location. So let's go to location and in get users at this point, I'm going to add JSON managed reference. And I'm going to open uh, the user and in in the get location I'm going to add JSON back reference in the user I'm going to go to get location I'm going to say add J, JSON back reference okay that is how it's gonna be control shift on your keyboard if you do it this way correctly then the problem of infinite recursion is going to be solved completely. It will go away completely. Now this is how to solve it, and I'm going to relaunch it, and we are going to make sure this problem is no, is no longer there. 
And then we now talk about JSON identity, JSON and identity info, and JSON ignore. So let's go to run this application and let's just make sure that this problem is solved. The first thing I'm going to do is to relaunch this application after saving. I'm going to just relaunch this application at this point. So we wait for a couple of seconds for it to to run. While we are waiting for it, uh, let's take a look at the console. I'm going to so JSON ignore while well, I can just is discussing part twelve. So let's not talk more about it at this point. The alternative ways to solve this problem, uh, but I think the one we did is the easiest one. JSON manage reference and JSON back reference is easier to use than JSON ignore and JSON identity info. So if I go to this point and say, at this point I say get users, you'll see that is going to give us list of users at this point. So users now, uh, it does not give us, it does not, it gives us list of users and gives us the posts. The post does not give us the user at this point. So again, if I go to user one, let's take a closer look. You can see that we have user ID, first name, last name, email, and we have posts. We have post ID, post date, details. Post at this point does not give us user because user detail is already there, as you can see. So that's how to resolve our infinite recursion problem. And I'd like to thank you for viewing. In the next part, we are going to now talk about two more uh, annotations used to handle recursion called JSON Manage, JSON Manage, JSON Identity Info and JSON Ignore. So this is a typo, it's actually these two, JSON Identity Info and JSON Ignore. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Please remember to subscribe to my channel Remember to leave me a comment, like my video, and share it around on your social network profile, and we'll see you in the next part.